this is how to play Bump. And this game is great for everyone from pre-kindergartners all the way to sixth and seventh graders that need to practice their multiplication facts. Um, to teach you how to play it today, I'm going to teach you how to play with the times two version of Bump. And then I'll show you the rest of the cards and how those can, how you can play the same game with uh, younger children that don't need to know their multiplication tables yet. So um, all you need to do to play bump is to have a bump board, two blank tin frames to keep score. And if you're playing with three people, you'd need three blank tin frames. The other thing that you need to provide from home is some kind of marker for each person. We're using dried beans here, dried kidney beans and dried lima beans. Um, if you have a third player, you just need another color marker. Um, pennies and dimes work, different colored uh, Lego bricks work. So as long as each person has their own pile of tiny things that are theirs, uh, you can play this game. It's great with two or three people. This video will show you how to play bump using the multiplication board, a subtraction board, and one of the boards for younger children, the add 10 board to make team numbers. Let's start with multiplication. So we're playing the times two bump, and the way this goes is uh, we'll turn over one deck of deck card and multiply it by two, and we'll just talk and go. So Henry, I will start. So I got a five. I have to say the equation. Five times two is 10. So I take my marker and I put it on a 10. I have to say the equation, or my partner can actually steal the bean from me. Yep. Henry, your so, turn. So I'll do, so it's a three. Mm -hmm. Three times two is six. So he puts his marker on the six. Oh, I got another five. Five times two is 10. Now, since my bean is already there, I'm gonna put another one there. So now I have two beans Wait, on the 10. Henry, I hope you don't pull a five. Yes. Oh no. Ooh, it's a five. Oh, who would have guessed? All right, five times two is 10. So I get to bump these off uh -huh. and keep them as points. Yep, the name of the game is bump. So now Henry has two points on his 10 frame. And remember, we build 10 frames top to bottom, left to right. We have ours turned sideways so that you can see them better here. All right, my turn. Three, three times two is six. Lucky me. Henry has a bean on the six, I get to bump him off, and that bean becomes my point. Henry? Okay. Ooh, it's a one. One times two is two. The play continues in this fashion until somebody fills up their card of 10. So there's lots of different variations of bump. I'll show you those in a minute. But thank you for playing with me, Henry. You're welcome. One thing I want to add uh, when you're using the Decadec -deck to do multiplication, um, especially with bigger numbers, is one thing that you can encourage your students to do is for those larger abstract facts, um, help them break the, the facts up into smaller facts. Um, for instance, seven times eight, hard um, fact nobody wants that because um, it's abstract. Hard fact to and so what you can encourage your kids to do, if they get seven times eight, if they don't have it memorized, that's okay. Help them understand they can put it together with the pieces on the deck deck. So for instance, you might say, well, do you know eight times five? Well, yes, I know eight times five is 40. Great, do you know eight times two? I do, I know eight times two is 16. 40 plus 16 is 56. That's the kind of thing that we want students to practice to help make sense of those harder to remember facts. This is the subtraction set of bump cards. And these cards go all the way from 10 minus a deck deck card all the way to 20 minus a deck deck card. So if you're just starting playing this with maybe a first or a second grader or a third grader, um, I would start with the 10, then go to the 20, and then try some cards in between. So Henry and I are going to model with the 10 minus a deck deck card in subtraction game. Are you ready? Henry, you yeah. go ahead and start. Okay. Remember, it's gonna be 10 minus whatever else on your card. Right. So 10 mm -hmm. minus two is eight. So I'll put a lemon bean on the eight. Okay. I got a one. 10 minus one is nine. So I will put my bean on the nine. Okay. 10 minus 10 is zero. So I'll put a bean on the zero. Okay. 10 minus one is nine again. So I have two beans on the nine now. Okay, 10 minus nine is 
is 1, so I'll put a beat under 1. 10 minus 2 is 8. Ooh, this means that I get to bump off your lima bean, and this becomes my first point. Okay. Oop, 10 minus 1. Oh, oh that's no. Fine. So, so I get to bump those off. You bump both of them off, and now you have two points. You only need eight more to win the game, and I need nine more to win the game. Yeah. This set of bump games is for pre-kindergarten, kindergarten and first grade students, second grade students. This is also very good for helping to reinforce number sense. And there's six different games here. There's addition to 10, where you would remove all of the six to 10 cards from the deck -a deck Students would turn over two cards and add to see what they get. They'd be adding up to 10. This card is matching to 10. This is for even the younger students. You would have them turn over a card and just count the amount and find the matching number on the board. Um, there is a teen numbers bump board where we're going to be adding 10 to whatever number we turn over to make all of our team numbers. And then there's a doubles bump. So whatever card you turn over, you would double it and mark that, that square. That and star. then there's doubles plus one. So you would double it and add one number and doubles minus one. And you have to take the zero card out of the deck for that one to work. But Dorothy and I are going to demonstrate with the teen numbers bump. So we're playing add 10 bump. Hi, Dorothy. And whatever card we turn over, we have to add 10 to. So you go ahead and start, Dorothy. I drew an eight, eight. You got an eight? So okay. One out of 10, that would be 18. 18, good job. All right, I got a one. And 1 plus 10 is 11. So I will put my marker there. 2, and that would be 12. Because, say the equation? Um, 2 plus 10 is 12. Good job. All right. I got a 2. 2 plus 10 is 12. So my one little kidney bean gets to bump off your lima bean and I get a point. Your turn. Five. Say the equation. Five out of ten is fifteen. Very good. I got a three. Three plus ten is thirteen. I got a three. Oh three no. Plus 10 is 14. There I go. Now you've got a point. <laughs> I got a 4. 4 plus 10 is 14. And I got a 1. Ooh. 1 plus 10 is 11. All right, so you're starting to win the game with your two on this 10 frame, and I've only got one. You've only got eight more to go to win. I've got nine more, and we would just keep playing like this until one of us fills up the card. Thanks for playing with me.